and to participate in the task of nation building. That is why I have urged you to do your best in your studies because law school is not a walk in the park. I observe the brilliance of our speakers, but the brilliance here must be translated in brilliance in your recitation. <laughs> you may excel here, but if I call on you to recite, and you will have a series of 60s, a debacle. Why? It is so easy to debate because you prepare only once. You research. But this should be translated in your recitations, in your exams and quizzes, and more importantly, in the bar examinations. You know your predecessors have done very well. Last year, we had 75 new lawyers. Now we had 37. One time, when I was still a faculty member, the LSO approached me, Sir, you invite somebody from uh, Manila, perhaps a bar top natural who can inspire our students. And so we had our testimonial dinner at uh, Saber Estates Clubhouse. And when I look at uh, the students, they were dressed as if they were already members of the Philippine Bar and not law students. Our distinguished guest of honor was an achiever, my fraternity brother in the Order of Utopia, Tony Bernardo. Graduated class valedictorian at the Ateneo de Manila, was number two in the bar examinations, became administrator of the SSS, and commissioner of the Bureau of Customs. And as he witnessed the, the honorees, he noticed they were not honorees. He was only an honoree. There was only one honoree. And he was a senior citizen by the name of Attorney Cesar Bagaypo. Sabi niya, Brad, isa lang pala ang Yes, isa lang. So our passing percentage then was less than 1%. But you know, last year, uh, in this recent bar exams, I think we're, we're around 40%. 40%. That is already the national passing mark. That is the national passing mark. And ito si Jelly, ang balita ko eh, kung hindi yung criminal law, you would have been a bar top not shell. No? Ang tataas ng grade, no? Anong grade mo sa civil law? 88. Oh. Yan ang mga dumadang isang kamay ni <laughs> But you know, what's out for the bar exam? I'll tell you the story of my mother. My mother uh, was the first batch. They came from the first batch of MLQ. The, the valedictorian was Minister Ricardo Puno. The, 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 sec, the Minister of Justice of the late Ferdinand Marcos, <laughs> no? Ricardo Puno. The class salutatorian was my mother. No? She graduated magna cum laude. That was a powerhouse batch because the Secretary of Justice of uh, President Corazon Aquino was another classmate. Secretary said Bri Ordonez, Secretary of Justice. They had Justice Benancio Esculin of uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, Congressman Ben Tabios, who was a former commissioner of the Bureau of Internal Revenue. And their batch actually separated from FPU when the dean of MLQ had a misunderstanding with management. 
no? So yung dean ng uh, FAU College of Law, sabi niya, hiwalay ako. And, and he formed the MLQ Law School. Pero naiwan yung iba nilang kaklase. Ang nag number one dun sa bar na yun, kaklase rin nila, si Montesilio, attorney Montesilio. If you will practice in Manila, there is a Montesilio, Omsiaco, si Dion Reyna, where Senator Ponce and really used to be part of. That's one of the biggest law firms. My mother was a top notch chef. But she, she was in the tail end. No? She had a grade of 92. 92 in the bar exam. <coughs> Her grade in, in public international law was 100. Her grade in uh, commercial law was 98. Her grade in remedial law, 95. Criminal law, 95. Pero alam mo ang water law niya? Civil law? She only got 83. Could you imagine kung nag-95 siya sa civil law? Baka siya yung number one. No? That's why uh, you have to balance it. But you know, she felt that the civil law questions were tricky. Because they were quite simple. So, she made it complicated. No? So, what's out when you take the bar? You have to take care of your water loop. No? Uh, because may mga mahirap na subjects eh. Katulad ng taxation, remedial law, minsan criminal law. That's why we have uh, started the uh, mentoring. No, All those who are taking the bar now, will be undergoing mentoring no, by Judge Boliosos, L.A. Metmog, and other professors. No? And this uh, batch now, who will take the 2024 bar exam after September, will immediately be mentored as early as possible. And also, uh, we are making sure that you will have copies of the previous bar questions. Because if you look at the bar exam, it will be practically the same questions coming in different forms. Because there are fertile grounds for bar questions. And you should have a mastery of that as early as now. And my new technique is that you are taking up Oblicon under me now, but if, if uh, you will make it and be in property, I will keep on going back to Oblicon which is the foundation of CV law. Just like what I'm doing now to my students in credit transactions. They go back, they have to memorize the defective contracts. They have to, to recite what you in first year are reciting so that they will have a mastery and they will not go back to their first year subjects a few months before the bar exams. Because that will be a debacle. Now, I am a product of the Ateneo de Manila. And in the last bad exam, the best performing law school was the Ateneo de Manila. I also taught at Xavier. And I have seen uh, the quality of students of Xavier, of uh, Ateneo, and you know, most of our faculty members now come from Ateneo and UP because of Zoom, no? Made possible by Zoom. We have the best professors from Ateneo de Manila, from UP, also teaching here at Liceo. But not face-to-face. -face. But people ask me, oh, sayang, hindi ka naging din ng savior. You know, that's a long story. Because, you know, one of the requirements was a master's of law, which I did not have, but which I now have, you know. But the man? That meaning, uh, in a year, I will have my doctor of laws, because... Uh, At the age of 65, <laughs> eh, nag-aaral pa ng Dr. Plus, no? do it after you become a lawyer. Whether you do it here in our country 
or abroad, preferably abroad, try to get a scholarship. You know, some of you were under uh, Attorney Dan Gunugundo, our professor in political law, who is a graduate of Georgetown, you know? Georgetown, Masters of Law. Some of you were under, are, are, are under Attorney Buddy Padilla now, who was a Masters of Law in the University of Leiden in Netherlands. So, pinag-usapan niyo international law. Kung gusto niyo maging expert doon, go to Hague and study there on a scholarship. So, we, we have the best professors, no? Uh, we have uh, uh, Dean Tony Labinia. Dean Tony Labinia was, is our professor of uh, political review. Alam mo nung yung isang bar exam, he was teaching political law review sa atin. 